Hey guys, we're going to be going back to True Welltall for another perfect score. Um, this is just a different team for those of you to maybe get some ideas if you haven't beaten it yet. And we're going to use something you don't see every day, which is a Light Element Magical Team. We're going all in for Light Element Mages. This is the party we're going to use. Let's give it a go and see how it works. And then I will show the team, show the gear, explain it etc. So we're going to be going for a turn 4 clear because my pause is EX2. That's a uh, turn 4 for the SLB. So for the boss's accuracy stuff, we're going to use Louise. We're going to incapacitate target to do an accuracy down. We're going to use Draconian Fina to do her Magnus to fill her LB gauge. We're going to use pause to imperil light on the boss. Uh, Aerith, Yuna, and Chow can just hang out for the moment as we just wait. Uh, now, because we did accuracy down, we don't got to worry about the boss's attacks. Um, we're evade, evade provoking with the base form of Louise. Yuna can do the shifted L. I'm sorry, the base form LB on this turn. Um, Aerith can go ahead and do Wish to Save the Planet. That's a rod in peril. Uh, Chow can do Prosperous Light for a bigger amplify. Uh, Draconian, Louise, and Paws can all just guard here as we just wait to get ready for the SLB. Okay, so we're gonna kill on next turn, so we're gonna continue to just get ready, basically. Um, so Aerith is gonna do her base form LB for the Amplify. We're gonna go ahead and shift uh, Fina, or Yuna. Um, we'll use Draconian Fina to summon Bayomet for the Light Element field. You know, we're going all in for Light Element. Uh, Yuna is going to Knowledge of the Staff, Believe, and Him of the Faith. That's to get ready for next turn. Uh, we're going to guard all the rest. Yeah, we're just waiting for the SLB at this point. And okay, we're going to kill on turn four. All the damage is not a problem with the accuracy down, so there we go. So pause, SLB, Draconian Fina, shifted LB. Uh, Yuna, shifted LB. Louise is going to help build that chain score with, um, we're going to shift and do quad chaos wave awaken. So, whoops. So we're going to chaos wave awaken uh, four times. Chow is going to do the same thing. We're going to chaos wave awaken four times. Now I know Chow's LB is more damage, but we need that chain count score, so whatever. And we're going to holy with Aerith. So we're going to start holy. We're going to wait for it to come down because it takes forever. Then we'll go ahead and chain our um, our team together, and this should be a hundred count chain score. It should be a ten point, uh, I think it's ten point seven or better. And we're looking for big boy damage here. How did our holy mage team work? Something you don't see constantly. Fifteen billions. We overkilled by fifty percent more than we needed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see the breakdown here. Um, now, Chow did, of course, do a worse form of damage because, you know, he is, his, his damage is all about his LB, but I needed someone to chain, so Chow got stuck on chain duty. How do we do here? Um, Paws did the most, and then Summoner Yuna brought up the rear. Now, my Yuna is only EX2. I don't have her card, so that hurts her damage a little bit. Um, Aerith with the Holy did 2.2. Now, of course, we didn't do the Reflect Holy. Um, we only did the regular, so if we had done the Reflect Holy, she could have done double that, but uh, that of course breaks your chain and messes up all the rest of your damage, so I, I didn't want to do that. We just regular holied. Uh, Draconian Fina, 2.1, not bad. Um, she's really powered up by the new card we got. That really, really helps her quite a bit. Um, and then Divine Beast Chow, 1.8. If we had done his LB, would have been more. And then of course Louise's garbage is damage, or Louise's damage is garbage, but uh, we're not in Clash of Wills, so you got to kind of judge her by Clash of Wills. Anyway, there was the clear. Let's go ahead and show the team we used just for the sake of it. So, base form Louise, uh, <clears throat> passive provoke. We did her Magnus to do the accuracy down, so that handled that. Um, the rest of the party is Aerith using a rod um, with the holy build, so MP and spirit. Her spirit's really low because we needed to give her all kind of killers, but you know, whatever. Uh, there's her build, and we've got 
Um, where's Machine Killer? Magical Machine Killer. 250 Magical Machine Killer. So there's Aerith. Uh, summoner unit, base form, whatever. Shift form. Here's the build we did. St staff build. Um, you know, spirit, evocation, etc. Uh, we've got maxed LB, Evo, um, 160, and then 265 Esper damage. So there's her setup again. Mine's not EX EX3, and I don't I don't want to moogle the um, the Freesia STMR, so I don't have her best in slot yet. She could do better if I had better gear for her. Base form Louise, just evasion, passive provoke, shift form. Technically geared for damage. She's got maxed machine killer, but um, yeah, she doesn't do damage outside of Clash of Wills. Uh, pause using a rod. Um, LB damage versus machines. I did gear her with priority, so she did do the most damage. So um, maxed LB and maxed machine killer. Chain cap up from the Magisters. And also, uh, the Bayment field works on mages, but it does not work on evokers. Uh, Draconian Fina, shift form is using the new uh, the new global exclusive card. The biggest problem with Draconian Fina is that she doesn't have any kind of chain cap up, and this card fixes that entirely, um, which gives you more slots to fill for Esper gear. She's still not great like by any means, but um, she's better than she was before. Uh, maxed LB damage, um, and she's an evoker. Uh, 190 and 210 for evo stats. Uh, she did get like third priority on gearing, Yuna stole all my best Evo stuff, but yeah. Uh, Chow and the shift form, um, just geared for chaining. Again, we didn't do his LB, so killers. And he got he got like a lot of left leftover gear too. So he was machine killer, 245. Yeah, big big leftovers. Like he's using like physical gear in the base form, but uh, we need it for the killers. And that was the party. So you know, something fun, a little bit different. You know, Holy Mages did 15 billion, we only needed 10, so it was very, very effective. Uh, yeah, you know, something to do. Anyway, see you next time.